Welcome to Envision's PCB Reflow Oven Tutorial. We at Envision know you're lazy, so instead of making you read the very clear instruction manual, just watch this tutorial and you'll know how to use a reflow oven in no time. So let us begin. Looking at the front of the machine, if the green circular button is not lit up, flip the power supply switch on the back right side of the oven. This green circular button will illuminate. Hold down the button until the touch screen turns on, then wait a few seconds for the reflow oven page to load. Please note, this oven gets extremely hot. That being said, make sure there is nothing on the PCB that will deform or blow up during the reflow process. That means anything other than the bare PCB and the components should not be placed inside the oven. For example, if your PCB has header pins, don't put it in the oven. This is what happens if you do. And although this is referred to as an oven, if we catch you trying to bake a cake, hot dog, asparagus, a cat, huh? or a bomb, you will be banned from Envision. So please, for everyone's well-being, only place a PCB and its bare components in the reflow oven. Now slide the heat plate out and place your PCB in the machine. Make sure the long side of the board is placed horizontally and the board is centered on the heat plate. Now gently slide the door closed so your board does not move. After the reflow oven page has loaded, it'll look like this. We need to load a reflow program to use this machine. So press on the set button on the top right. Then on the set page, press the center text on the bottom of this page. This will bring up preset reflow profiles. We highly recommend you use the lead free 250 Swanson profile as it works great with most, if not all, PCBs. Once you select it, confirm that the profile you selected is previewed on the bottom. Then go back to the run page and select start. A start confirmation page will pop up. Select yes and your reflow process will begin. From here on out, let the machine do its thing. In other words, don't touch it unless something goes wrong. As the reflow process happens, you can follow the steps by looking at this bar. It'll preheat, then soak, then reflow, then finally cool. The current temperature is on the left, then the target temperature for the current step is on the right. The heater power percentage is here in the center. You can watch your board heat up by looking through the small glass window. Be careful not to open the door when looking through the window. You will be able to feel the heat, but don't freak out. You can track the progress of the heating process by watching the temperature time graph on the bottom half of the page. Once the reflow process has finished, it'll begin cooling. Do not grab your PCB or open the drawer until the current temperature of the machine goes below 50 degrees Celsius. Opening the drawer when it is too hot will lead you to burning yourself and possibly breaking the machine. Once it has dropped below that temperature, you may grab your PCB. To turn off the machine, simply press this off button and confirm. If you ever need to stop the reflow process, press the stop button towards the top of the page. Then wait till the machine cools to at least 50 degrees Celsius to open the drawer and grab your PCB. Please close the drawer when you are done with the machine. If you have any questions or concerns when using this machine, please ask an orange vested Envision person or this guy behind this desk. We will be very happy to help you use this machine and not burn this place down. Thank you for following along this tutorial. Please watch our other Envision tutorials to learn how to use everything we offer at this great place. Thank you.